ready to start talking to us. About what? I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> what was that? Doug, why aren't you talking to us? We know what you did, Doug. Excuse me? What am I being accused of? I have no idea what you two are talking about. Doug, if you cooperate with us, I'm sure the judge is going to go a little easy on you. Why in God's name am I even here? Well, Doug, looks like you were very messy. And all the evidence seems to point to you. Do I need an attorney? Please, what about my phone call? We have you all to ourselves. At least until someone important to the victims notices the clues that tie you into this. Victims. That's right, Amy. So you better start talking now, Doug, or I'm going to make you start. Do I really look like someone who should be sitting in this chair right now? I don't know. You tell us, Doug. Do you look like someone that's capable of doing something like this? Oh, my God. Huh? How do these images sit in your stomach? You like this, you piece of shit? Oh, my God. I think I'm going to be sick. Hannah, Roger. Looks like someone's going to confess. Damn right they're going to confess. This time, you're going to jail. And you're going to get fucked in your ass every day for the next 50 years. Please, someone must be setting me up. Tell me what I want to hear, Doug. We'll hold you for 48 hours. And by then, the DNA results will be back. Doug, tell me about your life. Do you ever want to see your mommy again? How about your golden retriever, Sam? How about your wife? Look, someone must be setting me up. I am a solid and honest man. If you think I did that, then I am being framed. Framed? You know what, Doug? You're going to tell me what I want to hear, because I can hold you for 48 hours. And when the DNA results get back, we're going to book you for murder. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. I'll wait until Tuesday. I'll go have a nice weekend with my wife. Play a little t-ball with our daughter. But not you, pal. You'll be down in this cold cellar, chained to the wall, getting ready for the chair. You're fucked, pal. Yeah, you are. We got you this time. No, I will not. You will not what? You're the asshole who isn't listening to a word I've said. We're gonna play a game. It's called you versus me. Do you wanna play? No. I don't wanna play. Are you happy with your life? It doesn't appear so from the images of this horror show, now does it? I'm not talking to either of you anymore. What are you doing? What is this about? When something happens in your life, what is it you do? What are you talking about? When something random happens, do you take the time to stop, get a hold of the situation, take the time to make a rational, realistic decision, and then act on it, or do you do other things? Stop it. Do you snap? Leave me alone. Get away from me. I'm of passion, Doug. Look at the passion all over these innocent people. Let me go. I am innocent. A crime of jealousy. Two innocent people, Doug. You think they were innocent? I 
sure do. Innocent! Yes, innocent. Doug, how did it feel when you found them together? Did you get a heart on? Did you start to cry? Did it hurt to see them together? Sing on dance, on laugh and make the glee. 